Today at Musa, we've got some uh, pork belly marinated in the fiery iron brew. A lot of coriander happening here, a lot of ginger. It's ginger on ginger, that's what we're calling it. Um, here we've got some sesame, sesame seeds. We've got some coriander, some chilies, some soy, and a little bit of the, the fiery ginger. Going to be serving it with some sticky rice, some pak choy, ginger and tofu, with a nice little plum sauce. Right, here we've got some of our famous fiery iron brew marinated pork belly, a little bit of seasoning, some paprika, some chili flakes, some seasoning. Got a nice hot pan here. Let's see how we get on. That's us getting a nice sear on the pork belly. Toast it on each side into the oven. A few minutes. Beautiful, nice bit of caramelization in that dish. There we go now, nice bit of caramelization there in the pork belly. You can see all that nice rendered fat coming out, beautiful. Twenty-four hour marinade and iron brew. I think that's enough. Just enough acidity there. With that additional fieriness. A little bit of le lime and lemon juice. Perfect. In we go. Top shelf of the oven. I'll just leave that for about six, seven minutes. Here's a little marinade we prepared earlier. Let's see it reduce. Woo! Fire! A fiery syrup we're gonna get from that. Delicious. Now let's blanch some of our pan fried tofu. A little bit of our pak choy, and we've got some ginger there to garnish. There we go with a little bit of our pak choy and our tofu. Just a nice little bit of colour there. Good for the presentation of the dish, great for the flavour. A little bit more of the fiery brew. I'll just help the flavour. Let's see how the pork's getting on. Look at that colour, beautiful. Let's see how it looks. So let's put this dish together now. Got some of those delicious Asian greens. A little bit of our beautiful pork belly marinated in that all important fiery iron brew some tofu. Wonderful. And a little bit of our famous iron brew reduction. We've added a little bit of plum there. A little sweet and sour flavours there. Now you can either enjoy it with a Tokyo Dark Horizon. Or for those midweek, let's think about the brew.